My boomer dad is pissed that I won't give him my baby's social security number. Right? <laughs> <laughs> my dad is pissed. That's right. My dad thinks I should just give him my kid's social security number like it's no big deal. He just wants to start a bank account for my little guy. Sounds harmless, but my parents suck at taking care of their finances. They have been bankrupt at least once and bailed out every few years by my grandparents while they were still living. When I moved out at 20, I found out they had overdue utility bills in my name, so I couldn't open up any accounts for my first apartment until I paid it off for them. Mm. They took money from me as a minor while I was working at my first job and emptied $1,500 from my savings account and never paid it back to this day. Oh my God. I don't trust them at all. Parents have been hounding my hubby and I for weeks, if not months, and we've been politely dodging it. My parents started getting pissy. I politely told my dad slash parents that baby already has a savings account and they can contribute to that if they like. Boy, do they flip the fuck out. Demands baby social security number and starts calling us names. I flat out say no at this point. I tell them they don't need a social security number to open, to open a savings account in which baby is the beneficiary. They counter that they do. Then they proceed to tell me my baby won't receive any money from them until they get it. I don't care. Pretty sure they don't have <laughs> shit anyways besides the inheritance money after my grandparents die that they are literally smoking through. Oh. My dad even had grandpa change his will less than six months before his death, showing signs of dementia. My grandpa, right before he died, asked me what my dad had him sign and showed me the new will asking me to translate it. It was leaving the us grandkids out and dad was the sole proprietor, executor and power of attorney. Everything was changed. No point in contesting it. Hubby and I want to cut ties and move far away anyway. We could care less about ten to $15,000. Just more Dude. ways they abuse money and positions of power. I called one of the top five nationwide banks in the U.S., and they say you don't. Either way, it's not happening. They tried to corner my husband behind my back, and he didn't budge either. The anger continues. Snide comments at every holiday so far. And baby's birthday is coming up. I don't care. My idiot brother dolled out his kid's social security number without consent from his wife or thinking about it. My parents say, I don't trust them. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Someone with good intentions doesn't get this angry. Not the asshole immediately. Am I the asshole for threatening my wife with divorce after she quit her job to be a trad wife? I don't even know where to begin with this. Me, 34 male, and my wife, 33 female, have two kids together. 11 male and 9 female. Me and my wife have been together for 12 years and married for 8. Around a year ago, I noticed my wife increasingly sending me these trad wife or traditional housewife TikToks. I have nothing against that type of relationship, but I don't think it makes sense for our current family situation. I do earn quite a bit more than my wife and enough to sustain our family on my own, but I don't see the need to do so. I work 80% and my wife 50%. And besides Wednesdays, where both of us are working, either one of us is always home for the kids. I could work 100% and let my wife be a stay-at-home mom, but again, both of my kids are attending school, and in my mind, there's no need for my wife to be at home 24-7. She got increasingly pushy about it over the past two months, and again, I just kept on telling her that there wasn't any need for that, and if we did decide to go down that route, what would she do during the hours my kids attended school? I know damn well our house doesn't need to be cleaned for six hours a day. She would constantly try to butter me up with, you would have dinner ready every day when coming home from work, and something about unlimited blowjobs or some <laughs> or some BS like that. Hold on. Ahead of time. <laughs> Again, in the nicest way possible, I would remind her that our kids weren't toddlers and our current work-life schedule allowed us to function perfectly fine. We got into a pretty heated argument two weeks ago about it, and my wife completely stopped having sex with me to show me what I was missing out on. She basically has been treating me like a roommate since. I just thought she would get over it and that it was just a phase, but God, was I wrong. I came home from work yesterday, and I saw a bunch of presents on the dining room table. At first, I thought they were all for me since my birthday was in a week, but then I saw the labels on them were addressed to my wife. I read one of the letters attached to one of the presents. The last sentence on it was literally, It was so a pleasure working alongside you, and I wish all the best moving forward. Oof. I thought this was a sick prank. A few minutes later, my wife just casually strolled into the living room, acting like nothing was wrong. 
I guess she saw my mad expression and had the audacity to tell me that you'll get over it. I just lost it. I left without saying another word and I went to my parents' house. I feel absolutely disrespected. Why the f*** would my wife think it was okay to just quit her job without telling me and just expect me to be fine with it? My wife has been bombarding me with texts and calls, demanding to know where I am and that the kids miss me. I just told her to go find a lawyer and that I was done with her and then proceeded to block her. My son sent me a voicemail crying, asking why I was divorcing mom and if I was leaving the family, and I guess that kind of broke my heart. I haven't responded, and honestly, I don't know what to say to him. My mother-in-law has been demanding that I return home and apologize to my wife. My parents also seem to be siding with wife since they are traditional Muslims. My mom also used to be a stay-at-home mom. I feel like I'm wrong for immediately jumping to divorce without hearing her out. And besides this whole job drama, I love my wife too much for this to be the end of our perfect marriage. But on the other hand, I feel like I've just completely lost trust in her. Should I just swallow my pride and let my wife stay at home from now on? Or should I follow through on divorcing her? How should I navigate this situation? Am I the asshole here? Am I the asshole for robbing my wife's affair partner, which has now led to his divorce? (laughs) <laughs> robbing, my- robbing i 32 male have been married to my soon-to-be ex-wife 30 female madison for four years we're currently in counseling but it is not going to work about a year ago i found out she was having an affair by coming home to their clothes in our living room and sounds coming from our bedroom oh. i lost it mm-hmm. i was getting my cricket bat out of the front closet <laughs> cricket oh, bat is God. insane what kind of person are you? <laughs> When I stopped to think about consequences, I did not want to go to jail. Instead, I took all their clothes and left quietly. I went to a friend's house, but not before throwing all the clothes in a McDonald's garbage can. I turned off my phone and I got shit-faced with my buddy. His wife hosed us off in the morning. After I turned my phone back on, I had dozens of calls and texts for Madison. First scared because she got my updated flight information. Then upset that I hadn't called her to let her know I was going to be coming home early. Then freaked out that the house had been broken into. Then crazy because she figured out it was me. <laughs> then they got more der- they got more deranged. The guy she was with is five inches shorter than me and is about 60 pounds lighter. So if he has taken my clothes, it would be obvious. He ended up calling his friend to get his spare keys from his house. Unfortunately for him, his wife smelled a rat and followed his friends back to my house. Where she saw him leaving in oversized clothes. <laughs> Long story short, she took pictures and she had evidence of his infidelity, which caused their prenup to be canceled, which cost him a lot of money. It's all one big giant shit show. It took a couple of months, but my wife convinced me to try and forgive her. We started going to counseling and we were working our way through it until recently. In a counseling meeting, she said that I was wrong to steal his wallet, phone and car keys. She said that his divorce is costing him a lot of money and that I should have dealt with it in a more mature manner and that it was my fault. I never admitted to taking his stuff. To begin with, I was afraid he might call the cops. Then I didn't want to give her ammunition in case she wanted a divorce. Now I just don't care. I told her that her cheating was the reason for her boyfriend getting divorced. And I hope that his ex takes everything. I'm still not living at home. I have my own apartment and I'm filing for divorce. Now that I know how she feels, it's kind of like a slap in the face that she's blaming me for his divorce. Am I wrong for making a scene at my sister's wedding which she spent more than 10k on over a joke? My sister, 24 female, got married last week. Her wedding was very well planned out. We received invitations six months before and my sister poured about $10,000 into this wedding and that's without catering costs added. She also invited over 100 people. It was an ethnic wedding so there were some friends of friends. The ceremony was beautiful. There were so many pictures taken, everyone having a great time. I dream of eating the food I ate there just once again in my life. Even the rehearsal dinner a week before was magical. The issue came after my sister and her husband said, I do. It was at the reception. The cake was cut and everything was great. They were laughing and having a good time and then they went back up and said their speeches. Her husband's speech was touching with a humorous twist. When it came time for hers, things went south. She started off great, making a few jokes about a few family members. Nothing harmful. But then it got to me. She made a joke about considering having a dry wedding because I was such an addict. Clarify, I've struggled with an alcohol addiction and she is well aware. She was never really supportive of my recovery journey because she always saw me as an addict. My sister has this idea that once you struggle with an addiction, you go crazy and lose control if you get the chance again. No matter if you recover or not, in her eyes, you're always an addict. Everyone laughed and I felt humiliated. 
She was laughing too and then continued. I didn't want to interrupt her, so I just waited. I felt like crying and screaming at the same time. It was a rage yet sadness I'd never experienced before. After her speech, I spoke up. I brought her somewhere private and I told her that I didn't appreciate her jokes and it wasn't funny and that I felt like she humiliated me. She got so angry and started yelling things like, I have a whole wedding waiting for me back there. Who do you think you are to bring me here and waste my time? And it's just a joke. Don't be so pissy. She accused me of ruining her wedding and started screaming. She left back to the ceremony and I just stood there. Once I came back, everyone was staring at me and my sister was sobbing in my dad's arms. My dad proceeded to yell at me, telling me I ruined my sister's wedding and made a scene. I yelled back, and when I noticed a lot of people were watching, I got angry and left. Now, all of my family's mad at me, and they won't stop sending me text messages telling me I should apologize. I don't want to. So, am I the asshole? Um, not the asshole, but one thing I just wish you would have brought it up after the wedding, because it's, it is a wedding, but I don't like the part where the family is protecting supporting and enabling the bully like typical she did something wrong 1000 percent, she was wrong and honestly she humiliated herself like who she looks bad talking about you in that light it doesn't it's not a good look am i wrong for being disrespectful and telling my parents good luck with that when they tried to ground me i live at home while going to university i'm in my final year and i have a job lined up after i graduate my parents have been charging me rent since i was 16 I have a small company that makes me about 60000 a year. I started it in high school. It was one of the reasons I graduated early from high school and why I got attention from recruiters. My parents said that since I was earning adult money, I could take in adult responsibilities. I thought that was fair, so I paid for all of my stuff starting at age 16. Not university. I got a scholarship, and the rent they charged me was a minor $300 a month. But I basically considered the room to be completely mine after that. I kept it tidy because I like it that way but they had no say for when I cleaned it, for when I did my laundry, other than to not do it at a time where it would disturb my family. I bought food for myself and ate it when I wanted. They tried to say I was separating myself from the family, but I saw it more as having my own schedule. This year for spring break, I went down to Mexico with friends. My parents were upset because they were hosting a big Easter family get together. When I got back, they said I was behaving badly for not being around for a family gathering. I said it was my last spring break in university and that I was not responsible for their schedule. They said I was grounded and I laughed and said good luck with that. I went to my room and locked the door. They tried banging on it for attention, but I'm done. My grandfather came over to talk to me. He is the one who helped me get the company started and he is always there for me. He said that I was rude to my parents when they were trying to be there for me. I asked him how much rent he charged my mom when she lived at home. He said it was ridiculous to think he would charge his kids rent. I told him that I had been paying rent for four years. He went into the house and I heard a fight. When he came out, he said that I need to treat my parents with more respect, but that since they are my landlords, they do not have a say over how I spend my time. I'm avoiding my parents for now, and I'm renting an Airbnb right now until I graduate. It took everything that was important to me, and I left $600 for the last two months I had planned on being there. They keep calling me, but I'm currently getting ready to move for a new job. I don't have the energy to deal with them. I was already on your side when they started charging you rent at 16. When your kids do well for themselves, like just because you were making a good amount of money at a young age, they felt like they needed a hand in that pot instead of being like, you know what? Let me provide him with resources to excel in life even more. Let him focus on his school and focus on this business he's creating. Why would you charge your kid rent? I'm turning, I'm 27. I live with my parents and I do not pay rent. I've never paid rent. I hummed a lot. Like this is their home. I'm their child. Why wouldn't they want me to save money? My sister brought her new boyfriend, Steve, to her family cookout yesterday. My sister brought one bag of store branded potato chips. Steve helped himself to beer right away before being introduced to everyone. We are having hamburgers and hot dogs and just hanging out with the family. It's nothing fancy. Steve asked, is this it? When the first plate of hot dogs is done, I'm waiting on the round of hamburgers. My wife says there will be hamburgers soon. And Steve tells my wife and sister about his family and how they have Barbecue chicken, steak, shrimp, and many options. I picked up the plate of hot dogs and told Steve he could leave and go to his family barbecue instead. He just looked at me and drank his beer. And I told him and my sister to go since this wasn't good enough for Steve. I gave my sister store brand potato chips back and told her to get out. My sister and Steve left and the cookout was fine after that. My mom heard about me kicking them out and was mad at me and told me to apologize to my sister. My boyfriend and I recently broke off our long-term, long-distance relationship. In our time together, we had bought each other a Nintendo Switch to play. I'm not a huge gamer, but he is, and we decided we would share our games so we don't have to buy the same game twice. 
He shared his password with me and asked me to do the same. I had set my password to the same password I have for all my other important logins, such as my email and everything. I told him that I shall change my password and give it to him. However, me being a serial procrastinator, I never got around to it. I didn't even end up buying too many games, as I wasn't really interested in gaming in the first place, and my hand-eye coordination is horrible. He ended up buying a lot of games, and I play them regularly, so at some point, I felt like there was no use for him to have my password, as I don't even have any games or play as much. During our breakup, he cited this as one of the many reasons he felt like I was using him and coming from a place of pure evil, and that I got what I wanted by getting his password, but he never got to share any of the games that I had bought for us.